Hey there, I'm Amy Kliewitz, professional award-winning hair and makeup artist here in New York. Um, I have been in the industry for over 12 years now at this point, and I work in a lot of bridal and fashion, editorial, TV, film, you name it, I have worked in it. Uh, so I know a lot about makeup and beauty, uh, along with technique. Um, I went on a, a online date yesterday and so uh, we, we were just FaceTiming. And so I thought I'd recreate the look for that because I didn't want to look too overdone because I'm sitting at home <laughs> in my pajamas. I was, it's kind of like I am now, I'm, I'm pajamas down. Um, and so I want to just kind of something natural. I have used Il Maquillage in my kit a number of times actually. actually. Um, obviously as a pro makeup artist, you gotta have a number of different types of foundations that, that match all the kind of skin types, skin tones. Uh, and I go through phases. Right now, on a personal level, I am using um, the Makeup Forever HD, and I also use it on my clients, but um, I rotate out different, different foundations, different types of products. Uh, as you can see, I have lots of freckles. I'm very freckly. Um, some of those are turning into age spots. You can see some, some darker spots here. I have a lovely line right here in the shape of a mustache. <laughs> Thank you, genetics. Um, that I'm always trying to cover up. It's probably more noticeable to me, but um, I also have some broken capillaries there. Those are the things I usually like to cover up. Now, I don't want to get rid of my freckles. I like my freckles. Uh, I think they add character, but I do want to kind of just even out my skin. and even. Great. So now I'm going to put my foundation on. Now I am of the school. I only do my eyes up first because I like to get messy. I like to not color within the lines. And so there's a bit of fall away that happens and I'll show you a quick technique how to clean that up. But I usually just do eyes and up first and then I'll do the rest of the foundation later. So then I'm gonna move on to an eyeshadow primer. If you haven't discovered yet, this is Charlotte Tilbury's Eyes to Memorize. And I'm gonna do just a little bit on my lids. Now I'm gonna go in with one of my favorite new palettes. It is the Tarte Pro with just a really medium color. Um, this is bold and get that in the crease. So I've started with the, the eyelid. Now we do the crease a bit. So the number one thing I hear from my clients is I don't wear a lot of makeup because I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how. Well, now is the perfect time to practice because <laughs> we have nothing but time. Um, so my, what I always tell them is so much of this is just practice. Um, now I am going to add liner, my favorite part. Liner is so important. Even if you do just like a little bit of shadow along your lash line, you could even just do it towards the outside. I think it's always great because it automatically opens up an eye. So now to this technique of doing a quick cat eye, if you've never, if you have trouble doing it, uh, just a makeup remover, makeup remover wipes. I'm going to take it and clean up everything underneath. And as I get here, I'm going to angle it up at the end. So I've just sort of faked a cat eye basically in the after process. So if you feel like you've messed up already, or the end is a little messy, easy way to clean it up and create shape. And then we're gonna curl our lashes. I always say if there was a natural disaster, like what would you run out with? I'd run out with my eyelash curler <laughs> and mascara. Like if you could have one thing in your kit that you took with you all the time, it'd probably be the eyelash curler or mascara. Second would be eyeliner. All right. So now what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to go back in and finish under my eyes. So I'm going back in with foundation and I'm going to finish off the rest of my face. And I'm going to cover up my little mustache. <laughs> All places to have a line of freckles. So right now I'm using a NARS concealer. Um, this is creme brulee. This is my color. And I am going to just do a V just because I want to naturally highlight. I also have a little bit of dark darkness in here. So I'm also going, going out here because I'm cleaning up my little wing. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm not going to go crazy with the contour or anything like that. I'm going to do a little bit. Um, and I'm just drawing lines. Just beneath my cheekbone, I can do an entire tutorial on contouring for your face shape. It's not as scary as it looks, I promise, promise you. That's another thing I hear from clients. They're like, I don't understand contouring because all they see on Instagram is like the lines and everyone's drawing lines. It's really not that complicated or it doesn't have to be. So as you can see, it's just kind of natural, just kind of glowy. Uh, again, we're in quarantine and this was for my, my Skype date. So I didn't want to look like I was hit again, hitting the club in my room. Um, but I can, know many other things technically I can do contouring for face shape I can do eye shape um, and I love all of it so if there are any questions or any other um, tutorials that you'd like me to do let me know and otherwise thank you so much for watching